For the third consecutive month, CoreLogic downgraded their housing market forecast over the next 12 months. I'm also going to be sharing the states and cities that had the highest rates of home price appreciation and also the lowest. Also, stick to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing the top five cities that CoreLogic believes are at the greatest risk of home prices decreasing over the next 12 months. And of course, with that said, if you guys get any value out of today's video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Also, if you guys are new here, I post frequent housing market updates so you guys can be more informed. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and dive in the video here. Uh, this is uh, actually just published uh, today at the time of this video, which is the 2nd of August. And this again is according to CoreLogic. So they're basically um, provide forecasts um, through June 2023 and also provide some um, insights regarding home prices uh, for June 2022. And they have what's called the uh, CoreLogic uh, HPI or their home price index. And according to them, this is an early indication of home price trends. And according to CoreLogic, home prices nationwide increased year over year by 18.3% in June 2022 compared to June 2021. Also on a month to month basis, home prices increased by 0.6%. And here's what they're forecasting next month and also through June 2023. So home prices will increase on a month over month basis by 0.6%. That's June 2022 until uh, July 2022. Also on a year over year basis, uh, they're calling for home prices to increase by 4.3%. Again, that's June 2022 uh, through June of next year. Now you guys are probably wondering what was their previous housing market forecast uh, this year? And actually uh, I did some digging for you guys, of course, and I found that their last forecast is no longer on the website. So uh, that last forecast is no longer exists. So CoreLogic deleted their um, housing market forecast that they posted last month. But lucky for you guys, actually uh, have been making these videos for you guys for about a year um, for CoreLogic. So here are their previous forecasts here. And I'm actually gonna be writing up here on the uh, screen here. So from April, 2022 uh, to April, 2023, and this was pu published back in April, of course, uh, they were calling for home prices to increase by 5.6%. Uh, so that's April 2022 to April 2023, home prices to increase by 5.6%. Uh, by the way, the previous forecast before that was calling for a 5.9% increase on a year-over-year -year basis. So that was their first housing market downgrade uh, so far this year. Uh, fast forward to May, so May 2022 to May 2023, they were calling for a 5% increase in home prices, and that's the second consecutive downward revision in their forecast. And their current forecast, again, is calling for a 4.3% a increase in home prices uh, from June of this year to June of 2023. And again, this is a third consecutive downward revision of their uh, housing market forecast uh, in the U.S., and this 4.3% uh, increase is basically in line with long-term averages uh, over the past decade. So here's a graphic showing uh, current trends versus our forecasts. So again, on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, home prices increased by 18.3%, obviously far higher than the historical averages of 3 to 6%. But the revised housing market predictions over the next 12 months is calling for only a 4.3% increase on a year year basis. Uh, so comment below. I guys want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this uh, prediction here? Home prices to increase by 4.3%. So going back to this report here on a national level, of course, home prices increased by 18.3%. This marks the 125th consecutive month of year over year increases. However, though, home prices tend to fluctuate or have fluctuated on a month to month basis. And I actually mentioned this as well because on a month to month basis, their HPI decreased for the second consecutive month. And this of course is due to home buying demand decreasing uh, because of rising mortgage rates and of course worries about a slowing economy. And according to the deputy chief economist for CoreLogic, uh, she stated the following here, signs of a broader slowdown in this housing market are evident as home price growth decelerated for the second consecutive month. She talks about here about a cooling of home buying demand due to higher mortgage rates and the resulting increased cost of home ownership. So I actually have some um, updates to share regarding mortgage rates right now because they have been very volatile uh, over the past week. And they're gonna be sharing the states that have the biggest um, rates of home price appreciation and lowest, uh, as well as the uh, cities as well. And again, towards the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing the top five cities that they believe are at the greatest risk of home prices decreasing. So with that said, let's talk about mortgage rates right now because at the time of this video, which is the 2nd of August, 
uh, the 10-year U.S. Treasury note, or the uh, yield on that, is at 2.76%. In mid-June of this year, this yield was 3.5%. So in other words, because uh, the yield has been decreasing, so has mortgage rates. But it's been very volatile over the past uh, week, I said. So right now, according to uh, the Mortgage News Daily, for people with exceptional credit, the average 30-year fix is at 5.30%. But this is a 25 basis point increase uh, compared to yesterday. So check this out. The average rate is at 5.30%, but this is a 25 basis point increase compared to yesterday. Uh, but compared to the past few days, uh, over the past few days, mortgage rates actually decreased by about 50 basis points. So they're basically all over the place because um, yesterday, uh, the first, the average uh, rate was 5.05%. Now it's a 5.30%, a 2.5% increase compared to one year ago. Also, according to Investopedia.com, the average 30-year fix as of today is 5.26%. So going back to this report from CoreLogic here, um, obviously, yes, we do have higher mortgage rates, especially compared to August of last year when the average 30-year fix was around 2.8%. Uh, so now we're at about 5% right now. Obviously, much higher compared to the record lows we saw uh, last year, but rates have decreased from about 6.3% uh, that was set in mid-June of this year. Now we're down to 5.3%. Okay, let's talk about home prices on a national level uh, by state. Uh, CoreLogic states on a year-over-year -year basis, no states posted an annual decline in home prices. In other words, every single state uh, across the United States uh, had home prices increase on a year-over-year -year basis. Uh, obviously, there are some very big differences, though. So have a look at this. Here are the top 10 states with the highest rates of home price appreciation over the last 12 months. And that's from June 2021 to June of 2022. Look at this, Florida increasing by almost 32%, absolutely insane. That's nearly 10 times the historical average for home price gains uh, on a national level. So home prices increased by 32%, absolutely insane. That was followed by Tennessee, uh, Arizona, North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, South Dakota, and these other uh, states here as well. But out of these top 10 cities or these top 10 states, um, all of these posted gains of at least 19% on a year over year basis. So that was the top 10 states that had the highest rates of home prices increasing uh, over the last 12 months. But take a look at this because here's a graphic showing um, how the uh, changes vary by state. So everything in dark here is a 20% increase or at least a 20% increase in home prices. And those were the states that I mentioned. In stark contrast though, uh, the states in purple here uh, only increase in the range of one to 4% on a year over year basis. Obviously a lot different compared to uh, Florida a gain of almost 32%. So the only state that I see here that uh, had gains of less than 5%, but still had a positive appreciation in home prices was Washington, D.C. Also, the states that experienced uh, home price gains uh, in the range of 5 to 10% were in New York as well as North Dakota. CoreLogic also looked at home prices at a city level. They actually looked at the uh, 10 largest cities in the U.S. to see how they compared. Uh, so when you look at this, Phoenix actually led the pack at a 26.1% increase on a year-over-year -year basis for home prices. Uh, that was followed by uh, Miami, Florida at 25.3%, and then Las Vegas, Nevada at 24.3%. Also, San Diego almost at 21%, uh, Los Angeles at 15.3%, uh, Denver at 17.6%, uh, and Chicago at 11% increase. Um, out of these uh, uh, 10 largest cities, though, Every single one of these increased by double digits, except for Washington, D.C., only increasing by 9.3%. Additionally, CoreLogic provided the markets to watch out for. These are the top markets at risk of home prices declining over the next 12 months. And topping the list was in Bremerton, uh, Silverdale, Washington. CoreLogic believes this is a very high risk, a 70% probability of home prices declining over the next 12 months. Uh, that's in this city here. That was followed by uh, Bellingham, Washington, also a very high probability of home prices decreasing over the next 12 months. And that was followed by uh, Boise, Idaho, also a very high probability. Actually, every single one of these cities is a very high probability. Uh, in fourth place here was Crestview, uh, Fort Walton Beach, uh, Destin, Florida area, also a very high probability. And at number five, Olympia, Tumwater, Washington. And looking at this list right here, the only city that I have at least some knowledge regarding is Boise, Idaho. Because right now, 
for all the houses listed for sale in Boise, approximately 60% have had price reductions. Will that lead to home prices declining? Time will tell, I'll definitely keep you posted. If you guys got any value out of today's video whatsoever, then please hit the like button, I greatly appreciate that. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.